this is boy say it. Any more words? Happy to be small. Boy, say it. Go. Anyway, so welcome to the ERT Theatre. And we have been working on this project for the last four or five months. It's been funded by Cashback for Creativity. So what we've been doing is we've been visiting groups all across South Asia. Um, and if you hear your group called out, can I just give them, give them a wee cheer? Yeah? Is that easy? Yeah. I said, can you give me a wee cheer? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so for the first group that we visited, we visited the Air Gate Group We worked with the Air Gate Young Company. Young person. We would forget that not all girls 
we have a huge art festival to celebrate artists. We'd stop testing on animals, we'd stop global warming. We should listen to you. We let 14 and 15 year olds vote. Yes! yes. yes. Yeah. 14 and 15 year olds vote? Don't make me laugh. What would you know about voting? 14 and 15 year olds should be able to vote. We should be able to vote. We should be able to vote, we have fresh ideas. We should be able to vote because we know what's right and what's wrong. No, we should be able to vote because we have not too many decisions. We should be able to vote because adults like you are very against us. We should be able to vote because we care about our future. We, we are, are all important. important. We, we should, should be able to vote. vote. We are important. The most important thing in the world to me is my friends. The most important thing in the world to me is my mom. The most important thing to me in the world is my mom. She is my own mom. The most important thing to me in the world is my little girl. The most important thing to me in the whole world is my little girl. One thing I hope is for my girlfriend and me to stay together. You know, one thing I hope is to love and be forgotten. One thing I hope for is to find love. One what? thing I hope for is to find love also. One thing I hope for is to still be friends with everyone. One thing I hope for is to still be friends when we leave college. One thing I like about myself is I love skipping to express myself. One thing I like about myself is that I care for everyone. One thing I like about myself is that I get to be a big sister soon. One thing I like about myself is that I am not scared to say that I am part of the LGBT. One thing I like about myself is that I'm also not scared to say that I'm LGBT. One thing I like about myself is that I'm not scared to say that I am transgender. One thing I would change about the world is that kids should get to speak up. One thing I would change about the world is kids should get to speak up. They should get to speak out. Speak up! I think I speak for the rest of us when I say I'm sorry. Sorry we left you with our mess of a planet. Sorry we were too caught up in our own doings to do something. Sorry we listened to the people who made excuses to do nothing. I hope you forgive us. We just didn't realise how special the earth was. Like a marriage gone wrong, we didn't know what we had until it was gone. For example, you probably know it as the Amazon Desert, right? Well, believe it or not, it was once called the Amazon Rainforest, and there were billions of trees. They were gorgeous. Oh, wait. You don't know much about trees, do you? Well, let me tell you. Trees are amazing. I mean, we literally breathe the air they are creating. They clean up our pollution, our carbon. They store and purify water give us medicine that cures our diseases and food that feeds us. Which is why I am so sorry to tell you that we burned them down, cut them down with brittle machines, horrific, at a rate of 40 football fields every minute. 50% of all the trees in the world gone in the last 100 years. Why? For a bit of money. And that wouldn't make me so sad if there weren't so many pictures of leaves on the dollars. You know, when I was a child, I read about how the Native Americans had such consideration for the planet that they felt responsible for how they left the land for the next seven generations. Which brings me great sorrow, because most of us today don't even care about tomorrow. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we put profit above people, greed above need, the rule of gold above the golden rule. I'm sorry we use nature as a credit card with no spending limit, overdrafting animals to extinction. Stealing your chance to ever see their uniqueness or become friends with them. Sorry we poisoned the ocean so much that you can't even swim in them. But most of all, I'm sorry about our mindset. Because we had the nerve to call this destruction progress. Hey Fox News, if you don't think climate change is a bad thing, I dare you to interview the thousands of homeless people in Bangladesh. And while you were in your penthouse nestled, their homes were literally washed away beneath their feet because of rising sea levels. And Sarah Palin, you said that you love the smell of fossil fuels. Well, I urge you to talk to the kids of Beijing who are forced to wear pollution masks just to go to school. See, you can ignore this, but the thing about the truth, it can be denied, not avoided. So I'm sorry, future generations. I'm sorry that our footprint became a sinkhole and not a garden. That we paid so much attention to ISIS and very little to how the ice is melting fast in the Arctic. I'm sorry we doomed you, and I'm sorry we couldn't find another planet in time to move to. I am s You know what? I'm not sorry. 
This future I do not accept it, because an error does not become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. We can redirect this. How? Let me suggest that if a farmer sees that a tree is unhealthy, they don't look at the branches, they look at the root. So like that farmer, we must look at the root and not to the branches of government, not to the politicians run by corporations. We are the root. We are the foundation. This generation. It is up to us to take care of this planet. It is our only home. We must globally warm our hearts and change the climate of our souls. Realize that we are not apart from nature. We are a part of nature. And to portray nature is to betray us. To save nature is to save us. Because whatever you're fighting for, racism or poverty, feminism, gay rights, or any type of equality, it won't matter in the least. Because if we don't all work together to save the environment, we will all be equally extinct. Sorry, Earth. So ladies and gentlemen, just before we move on to the next few pieces, we'd just like to say and encourage you to get your phones out, get your cameras out at any point tonight, and get on social media, get on Facebook, get on Twitter, and let's get the hashtag trending, open your lungs. So if you've got that at any point tonight, get those phones out, preferably when I'm off the stage, you don't need my face in them, but any point during tonight, get those phones out, hashtag open your lungs. Now, moving swiftly on to the next three pieces tonight, the first of which is from Moslow Youth Group. Ooh. And it is Forest of My Mind. Now, this will take you on another powerful journey, an important one at that. The next two are from the Air Gaty Youth Company. Ooh. We've got Curtis's poem and we've got no, People's Faces. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> You walked down a path of stones, past trees and flowers and bushes. You come to a clearing. There are huge old trees that are magic. When you eat an apple from the tree, you become the best at cheering. Travel through the forest some more, down a lane that follows a tree. There's insects beneath you and birds above you. You sing. And when you hear the birds sing back, they tell you whatever you need to know. There's a bridge stretched over the stream. You step on it, and as you do, you hear a sound. You take out the step and realise every plank of wood is plain and musical note. There are the ropes of your favourite song. You keep on walking by the trees and the flowers and the stream. Finally, you come to a cave. You enter. It's dark and that's scary. You feel right at home. When you sing in the cave it echoes through the whole forest and you become a better person. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we will see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. <laughs> you walk on through the cave and you come to a world of full of pictures. Pictures of cavemen and women. You rub one of the pictures and they come to life. The cavemen and women will help you save any animal that's in danger. You leave the cave and carry on walking. The trees get thicker and thicker. You look up through the trees and all you can see is colour. Bright, beautiful colours. There's a rainbow fell in the whole sky. You sing some more and the rainbow glows as bright as the sun. Next to this rainbow is another rainbow. A double rainbow. This one has writing in each colour. Blue, red, yellow, pink. You see all the names of your favourite songs. In the distance, you can see something big, a tree, the biggest tree I've ever seen. It's drawing you closer. Its branches look like big arms, asking you for a hug. You hug it and it causes world peace. The forest of my mind is amazing. I love it. But 
there's only one place I'd rather be. Made a statue of a bear that when I touch it, it takes me to my pit. A wooden house that when we open the door, all my friends and family are there. Said the stones that take me to the voice, but I sat on them. A monkey pond that when I swim in it, takes me to wherever my family are. The most important thing in the world is your family. The most important thing is eating. The most important thing is drinking. The most important thing is going to school. The most important thing is cheer. The most important thing is to clean your chin. The most important thing is technology. The most important thing is to sleep. The most important thing is... as as Youth Club. She's wearing glasses with a marble effect. His face is stubbling. Their teeth are really straight and white. He's got a nose that points out, which is a polite way of saying it's big. <laughs> Their hair is blonde, with darker roots, and is about shoulder length. He's got big ears. She's got blue eyes. She has flushed cheeks, like she's been running or something. They've got longish hair. His skin is quite pale. They have Thin, well kept eyebrows that are light brown. He has a freckle on his upper lip. She's got quite a large nose with a stud in it. He's got nice teeth. He's got three freckles on his left cheek, but not on his right. Her eyebrows are a really dark brown and stand out from the rest of her face. They're wearing thick black glasses with leopard print leggings. She has long eyelashes that you can see from ages away. They really stand out. She's got her hair up and a high ponytail and a scrub chain. He's got brown eyes. She's got hooks in both her ears. He's got wings near his eyes. He's got quite a big forehead. He's pretty tall, way taller than me anyway. She's got wide brown eyes. Her eyebrows are brown, quite thin. He keeps touching his chin. They have a small nose that looks like it's been pressed in by their glasses. They've got three earrings in their right ear, two studs on the outside and one on the inside. He's got stubble and left to move. He's got long legs. She's got quite big hands. His nose and eyes really stand out. He's got some sort of bump on his cheek. She has a small nose. His skin looks tanned. He's like, she might just come back from holiday. He has light brown hair. He's got blue eyes. He has a round button nose. They have deep blue eyes that are really expressive. They have really defined cheekbones. Her eyebrows are darker than her hair. He's got long hair on top and short hair at the sides. He's got earphones in. She's got wee pink lips. They've got blue, greyish eyes. They've got quite a distinct jawline. They have a really nice smile. They look like they smile a lot. They have a bit of a nice bitch face. His hair is short at the front and sort of long at the back. They have great cool skin. I'm jealous. He's wearing a purple necklace that he keeps putting in his mouth. She's wearing sunglasses, even though it's not sunny and the weather's shit. He's wearing long black socks. With white trainers? She's wearing gym clothes, <laughs> although she doesn't look like she goes to the gym. He has a hoodie on. I'm wearing a dark grey, long sleeve jumper that they're trying to go unnoticed. She's got big black boots on. He's wearing jeans. To be honest, he looks like the kind of person that always wears jeans. They're wearing black and white converse with sparkles. I think the sparkles look like snow. He's wearing a bright red baseball cap. They're wearing converse. Why is everyone wearing converse? They're wearing a gold animal watch on their left wrist. He's wearing a grey hoodie with a logo on it. Uh, I can't really make out. She's wearing a, a cream cotton jumper and skinny ripped jeans. They're wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt. That's cool. They look cool. He's wearing black jeans and a black suit. He's got his phone in his hand and hasn't stopped looking at it. He seems small. She seems like she's enjoying herself. She looks like she's just remembered something funny. 
I bet they go home and peck their toenails. Is she staring at me? They look like a horrible person. Wait, do I look like a horrible person? I bet they do know shame. He looks like the kind of person that's worried about money. I wonder why they're chewing their fingernails so much. What are they so anxious about? I bet they go to church, but aren't even religious. She looks like she's been crying. Why does he look so pissed off? She's very energetic. She's got some spring in step. He looks really genuine, like a really nice guy. She looks like she's out for blood. She looks lonely. I wonder if they feel like no one likes them. What the fuck is she laughing at? I wonder if they never had sex. I bet they grew up with a perfect family. He looks like a goody two-shoes. Why are they limping? Should I help them? Uh, they probably think I was trying to rob them if I went anywhere near them. <laughs> do they need a shit or do they just walk funny? I wonder if they even try to talk to me, I'm going to pretend they don't want to try to I bet she advised like some of that stuff. I bet it's shot a weak rules. I bet he's got nothing to worry about if only. I wonder if she knows where she's going with her life. He is so drunk! Please do not come near me. He will thinks he's solid. Are they talking about me? Looks like she's had Botox. They look fine. There is so much to be found in people's faces. I hope they think I look kind. I hope I come across as confident. I hope people can see that I'm approachable. Mm. I hope I come across as happy. I hope people think good things of me. I hope I don't look boring. I hope people don't think I look fake. I hope they don't think there's something wrong with me. I hope they think I'm happy. I hope they see that I'm trying. I hope people don't think I look bland. I hope I look like I know where I'm going with my life. I hope they don't think I'm annoying. I hope they think I look kind. I hope they don't think I'm looking for attention. I hope people see me as a confident person. I hope she doesn't think I'm hitting on her. I hope people think I'm funny. I hope that I make people laugh when they're feeling down. I hope people see me and think it's okay to be different. I bet people think I look bad. I bet they're wondering how I can look depressed and smug at the same time. I bet people think I am no fun. I bet they go home and tell their friends about the weirdo they see. I bet they think I've got a weirdly long head. I bet he thinks I look untrustworthy. There is so much to be found in people's faces. I am like I am funny. I am trying. I am not worried about people's opinions. I am strong. I am empathetic. I'm good at my job. I am a person who cares about my friends. I am brave. I am a hard worker. I am calm. I am someone who keeps going. I am good looking. I am chill. I am smart. I'm a friendly person. I am kind. I am a person who listens to people. I am confident. I am happy. I am dramatic. I am cool. I am honest. I am someone who can be patient. I am independent. There's so much to be found in our faces. Yeah, that's 
is great. Well, now that we have sorted that and all of our ingredients are in the bowl, we need to mix them all together and put them into a baking tray in the oven for 30 minutes and 13 seconds. That's the perfect cooking time as it brings out all the happiness and our chosen ingredients. And while you're waiting on that to cook, you could do some other stuff that makes you happy. For example, we'll probably go for a walk, make a TikTok or watch some good Netflix programs like the Hooplets. Definitely. And then, when your brownie is ready, cut into slices and it's ready to share with all your friends so that they feel happy as you feel. Just as happy as the three of us. Well that's the end of another week's show on LCH Radio. Thanks for listening and cooking with us today. Make sure you tune in again next week for some more great cooking ideas. For now, it's goodbye from Lee. Bye. And goodbye from me. Bye. And from Anna. And goodbye from me. Bye. <laughs> step by step guides to end inequality by Callum Rowe. One, end poverty by government providing free university and college tuition so people can get the qualifications required to be employed. Two, a slowly reduce or increase wages so that all professions gain a steady income of £9,999 per month. At the beginning of the Ending Inequality Programme, take a small chunk of everybody's wages to find emergency accommodation complexes and food banks. Four, reinforce Article 31 and generally all rights. Once emergency accommodations have been built and food banks have been opened, return wages to normal balance of £9,999 per month. <laughs> Unique me. I love my hair, my eyes, my smile, my good banter, my thunder thighs, my nauseous which flare when I laugh, my nose ring, my thickness. I love the fact that I can't stop laughing at things that aren't funny. <laughs> I am unique. The question of knowing what you want to do with our lives when we're only a quarter of our way through it is overwhelming. When I was little, I wanted to be a face painter, a waitress, a doctor, an actress, a police officer, a teacher, a midwife. I can't remember what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a clown. What scares me is never knowing who made the right choice. I feel like what I wanted to do with my life has changed so many times. We're too afraid to push ourselves because of the fear of falling flat on our faces. What have we done in our society to put this much pressure on young people? I'll tell you what they've done. They've made us make all of our life decisions in the most complex time of our life. My mum is going to be so disappointed. Young people are so afraid of feeling. We're so afraid of feeling. I'm so afraid of feeling. But the pressure is overwhelming. The choice is too many. What if I fail? What if I... What if... <laughs> Next up we've got a collaboration between North and South Ayrshire Champion Boards, Fiona Evans and Ian McKenzie. Now for our text, we've got Tuning In, next we have Outside Looking In, and then we have load, Loads of Barbers. Finally, we have Dear Corporate Parents. Hope you enjoy them. Woo! Something, something sad. 
Something, something, uh-oh, 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 something, uh-oh,
given where you are right now, it may be easy to feel small, but to me, you're the biggest and the best. Thank you for keeping the night sky dark so we can see the stars. Thank you for keeping me centred and steady, even when things are constantly being thrown at you. Sometimes you can seem very shallow, but I know how deep you actually are. Thank you for letting humans go to the moon and stars. Thank you for letting me the people meet the world as it is. Thank you for keeping me safe and keeping my home safe. You're not the smoothest, but that's good. Just keep moving and it'll all be fine. Thank you for never letting me fall. Thank you for never failing when everything fails you. Thank you for the sunsets. Thank you for the sunlight. And thank you for everything from humans. Deep in the jungle, somewhere unknown, where we find the happy people in their happy jungle. What are you doing here? What do you want? I'm looking for the perfect recipe for happiness. Oh no, not another tourist? Well, hold on a minute. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. We've spent centuries building our happy community, and we don't want to miss anything ruining it. Okay, I'll leave, but first I need you to give me the recipe for happiness. <laughs> Not going to happen? Well, okay. How about I give you money for it? No thanks. Money can't buy you happiness. Fine. How about you give me it? Because you will help me to be happy. And if you help me, then you'll be happy too. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. Deal. A few days later, back in gloomy air. Hi guys, I'm back. Hey! Hi! Welcome back. Well, did you manage to find it? Yes. Perfect. Then let's get started. Let me see. Okay, so first, all we need is 500 grams of making someone smile. Wait, what? That's all it says. <laughs> it's a work out of listening to my favorite music. No, it doesn't. She's right. It doesn't say that. It says 200 grams of making someone smile. Wait, you don't think? What? Don't tell me it's all the way to find the recipe for happiness, and it's not right. No, it is right. But I think the recipe looks different to everyone. What do you mean? Well, the first ingredient looks different to all of us, right? You see listening to music, and you see making someone smile. But I see being with my grandma. So maybe the recipe is different for everyone. Because different things make us all happy. Well, that does make sense, I guess. Okay, so why don't we all read the recipe and make our own happiness? Sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Alright everyone, add your first ingredients. What's everyone's next ingredients? Well, I need to add a kilogram of chocolate milk and cereal, a sprinkle of traveling, and one and a half a teaspoon of cat. Mine's are one kilogram of video games, two kilograms of making people happy, and three kilograms of friends. Mine's are 300 kilograms of my favourite music, 200 grams of video games, and one pound of fashion. And mine's are one pound of fat pugs and bulldogs, two teaspoons of internet, 233.3 grams of musicals. Great. Now let's all pop them in the oven and leave to cook, and when they come out, we should have the perfect dish and have it. Yay! Hello and welcome to LJ's Cookery and today I am going to tell you how to make a good miso lasagna. You will need 300 grams of bath bombs, 300 grams of bowl bath, 3 tablespoons of sunshine, 5 tablespoons of roast dinner, 30 grams of family time. Bake for 30 minutes at 300 degrees then take out and put into your tray. Then sprinkle 300 grams of love and affection all over the top and that will fill it with joy. Thanks for listening. Maybe you can try it at home. It's like, oh, never mind. Testing, testing.
that's what it is. Anyway, here we all enjoying ourselves, we have having a good time. Aye, ah, good, good. Anyway, next up we have the Moss Blown Youth Group. Who are these? Christ, there's hundreds of these. Anyway, we'll be performing a beautiful rendition of the song Caledonia, which they've been collaborating with Lydia Davidson and Ricky Williamson. That's a great song, isn't it? So, uh, the podcast following will be the In Invergarvin School, who will be performing Three Wishes. Anyways, and after that, our last segment is Martin of the North Ayrshire Champions Board, and he'll be performing his poem, Hope, which he co wrote with Ian McKenzie. It's a very promising lineup, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, hope you all enjoy, folks. Hope would be hard to find, slow to make things happen and hard to get a hold of when you need it most. But hope 
would be the most important superhero. Who is the most important? In the quiet moments where there isn't answers or easy solutions, or when things feel big and complex, when the fires, the shouting and the fighting won't stop, when the world won't listen. You don't need super strength or teleportation or flight. You need hope. We need hope. Together in hope. And it may be slow, but through hope, things will begin to move. Move towards something better. You walk down a path of stones. Path. Hello. We are sadly near the end of our little show. Aww. Aww. We have three more titles. Two will be from the Ia Gaiety Young Company. Which will be written with Ricky Robinson and Fiona Evans, which is called The Receipt of Happiness, which is about a great baking show. Oh. <laughs> and the end of the world, which is what we find will happen in the end of the world. We also have a piece for Mars Rowan Youth Group Woo! called How to Adult, written with Lydia Davison and Ricky Robinson, which is about kids turn adults, how to treat kids properly. Anyway, I'll stop chatting and I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to the Great British Bake Off. Today our bakers have been tested with an extremely difficult recipe. They need to have perfect techniques, snaps and jazz in these dishes. The recipes today are for making happiness. Let's go to Chef Colin and see how he's doing. Hi everyone. Hi, what are you adding in just now? Okay, so I'm just adding in a dash of music and a pinch of little mysteries. Oh, wow. And why do these things make you happy? Because the music just makes everything so much more colourful and adds spice to the dish. And well, who doesn't love a little mystery? Oh yes, really nice. You keep going on with your dish while I talk to the rest of the contestants. Hello there. Hello, how are you today? Well, I'm adding some random acts of kindness to mix up my dish slightly and get your senses going. Then I'm going to add a smidgen of surprise holidays and a dollop of musical theatre because, you know... Oh yes, you can't eat surprise holidays. Yeah, I'm definitely going to win. This is the best recipe for happiness yet. Well, don't get too carried away. I'm going to go and speak to the remaining contestants. <laughs> oh, hi there, hi there. Um, just wanted to quickly say, I'm a huge fan of this show. I've watched it forever. Anyway. Wait till I tell you what I'm cooking in my oven tonight. Let me tell you, I've got some Doctor Who thrown in there, a little bit of Netflix to give it, you know, that little extra kick. You get me? Oh, yeah, certainly do. Sounds good. Basically, Doctor Who and Netflix have always been there for me at 4 a.m. when I can't sleep. And why just this combination will work so well together and make you happy? Well, it reminds me of my childhood. It reaches me. You know, it just gets you, pulls you, and the heart strength it makes you happy. Well, uh, nice, as long as it makes you happy. You keep going with your recipe while I talk to Asha. Hello there. Um, are you okay? You seem a bit down. Well, I'm trying to follow my recipe for happiness, but I'm feeling a bit down because my boyfriend split up with me yesterday. So it's proving a bit difficult to stay happy. Oh, it's okay. Is there anything else that makes you happy that you can add in? Well, I used to go for walks on the beach. That would make me happy. Sounds great. Just remember to add a bit of mental therapy in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, everyone, you all have the chance to add one extra ingredient to your dishes that will make everyone feel happier. What are you all adding, uh, Chef Oscar? I'm going to add uh, my dog Travis. Oh, and, and some Pringles. You can only choose one. Fine. Pringles. No, my dog Travis. Okay, Chef Colin? Well, I was thinking of adding just some nice walks with friends. Oh, yes. Uh, Chef Luna? You know what? A new true love. 
Oh, you do go on, girl. Anyway, these dishes all sound so delicious and happy, and because of that... Excuse me, you forgot me. <laughs> oh, uh, completely not intentional. Uh, well, go ahead. Well, for my last ingredient, I'm going to add Monday nights with the Katie doing drama. <laughs> Well, because all of your dishes sound so delicious and happy, and you've all added ingredients that are so special to you and everyone else, we aren't going to have a winner. This time you all win, so congratulations to all of our contestants. Thanks for watching The Great British Bake Off. I've been your presenter, Gloria, and I'll see you all again next time. If you have children, make sure to love them, feed them, and give them joy. If your child is sick, take them to the hospital. Give them fresh air. Take them to the dentist. Give them sweets. Give them sweets. Take them to school. Make a sensible bedtime table. On school nights, they go to bed at 7.30 p.m. You stay up as late as you want all the time. Let kids be out until 10 p.m. and go out wherever they want. Go do something with your kids. Make sure to let them have Wi-Fi. But them Clara box and TikTok. Get money. Have 20 million. 20 million? <laughs> Protest for doggies to be allowed in more places. Let your kids visit family. Be my mum for a day. Be responsible. 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 Be compassionate. Be sensible. Be respectful. Be the best you can be. Short. Worth it. Glorious. Eternal. Sad. Unnoticed. Crazy. A new beginning. When there's no one left to remember us. Long. When a new world begins. Dark, quiet, and lonely. The start of something new. Full of pain and screams. When humanity destroys the world. The end. In a hundred years, they'll look back and think, Why? What idiots. Yikes. What the fuck happened? It's changed so much. Damn, they've ruined it for us. What were they doing with their lives? Well, that was a dumb decision. That was simple. Did that happen? I was born in the wrong decade. I kinda wish I lived in that era. Of what we have lost. They had it easy. If only I had been better in school. Passed my theory first time. Sid, I'm starving. Not worried so much. Time to think and time to breathe. Being stronger. Someone to tell me the correct pathway to take. A guaranteed future in terms of finance, a healthy planet, and enough time to achieve everything I want to achieve. A moment to appreciate what life offers. Made the most of it. One life more. I wonder if everything will change. Happiness is a valued thing. Time is relative. Will ever truly matter. Tolerance is learnt. There's a world like ours somewhere else. People will ever look back and think we were old fashioned. Politicians will follow through with their promises. I'll ever understand politics. They'll remember me. The world will ever be safe. I'll never forget. The heartache. The moment when I realise that I am mortal. How long it takes to remember. The kindness I've been shown. When I lived in blissful ignorance of the world around me. But it's not worth remembering. But I will forgive. <laughs>